Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to you all in lab medicine. Today we are going to demonstrate about how we perform APR test in TITA for screening syphilis in a lab. First of all, let's have an idea about what kind of test it is. It's a non-specific and non-traponal tests done for serological diagnosis of syphilis. The principle of the test is based on flocculation reaction that measures antilipoidal IG and IgM antibodies. Freeze tests are generally done for initial screening and follow-up after treatment. Here in a diagram, we can see how the antigen-antibody clumps formed and flocculation occurred. Basically, it is also known as carbon antigen test. By using this antigen, we will identify region in a sample. Ragin is non-triponamal antibody produced mainly during primary and secondary stage of infection in response to lipoidal substances like phosphatidylcholine, lecithin, cardiolipin, cholesterol, A, etc., which are released from the damaged host cells. So, this is a carbon antigen which we get of 5 ml in test kit. We should also know about its composition. Carbogen is made of lipoid complexes which contain 0.03% cardiolipin, 0.21% lecithin, and 0.9% cholesterol. It also contains toluene chloride to eliminate the need to heat inactivate serum and ethylene diamine, tetraacetic acid to enhance the stability of the suspension. Firstly, we will label up the flocculation card by mentioning the dilution titer followed by 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 256 for performing serial dilution. After that, day T, we will pipe it 50 micro litter distilled water to each test circles as showing here. Perhaps we can also use normal saline as a diluting agent. Then we will pipe it 50 micro litter of serum and mixed with 50 micro litter of distilled water. We will then perform serial dilution up to 1 is to 256 for knowing the exact tar, knowing the titer is important for monitoring the treatment. Lastly, we will drop the suspension of carbon antigen to each dilution. We We'll mix the suspension appropriately and rotate on a rotator for about 8 minutes. After 8 minutes we will interpret the results by observing the flocculation macroscopically. 